Yep, this is the motto we live by at the uh, man cave. What happens in the cave stays in the cave. And uh, my son just gave that to me to uh, proudly post on the front of the man cave, the saggy leaning man cave that I have. And uh, anyway, I've uh, grabbed another chunk of that Danish rock and recently here, as of uh, earlier today, I noticed that uh, sulfates like uh, Atlee points. Checked out my uh, Atlee point I had made a while back and he told me it's now his favorite point. So uh, this is what I came up with. This is out of his Danish flint and this was no easy task by any means because again this material is as tough as nails and I really had to work to get this piece but to get a piece this thin you really have to take down several series of flakes to get it and when you run into some of this gray sometimes it can be tougher uh, than the surrounding brown areas but I think it looks pretty cool and uh, it's quite translucent too let me show you here How well you can see that, but doesn't that look cool? Yep, so Sophus, we got another survivor. I tried another piece earlier and it had too much of the gray, and I wasn't able to get hardly anything out of that, and I'm still haven't um, completely written it off. But I will try it again uh, when I get a chance. But for now, this is what I've come up with. Could be the world's only Danish Etley. Now, this probably isn't like the Etleys that a lot of you guys are finding, but it's my version of an Etley, and I kind of like the looks of it. It's got a needle tip, got tapers in. It's got the. Uh, some guys might call this a Smetley, I don't know. But anyway, there it is, and I'll be back when I get something else made. Thanks for watching.